The family of a man tasered by police has hired an attorney and is launching an investigation. Howard Hammond died Monday night. Middleburg Heights police said Hammond resisted arrest and had to be tasered. His family questions that and is outraged that no one then told them exactly what had happened. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska has much more now. Okay, unfortunately, that's true. They did learn from news reports uh, yesterday. Hammond's family say neither police officers nor doctors told them he was tasered, just that he died in a car accident. The family's attorney, Nicholas DiCello, says it raises suspicion now as to why the family wasn't told the truth. Howard Hammond's family is pleading for answers. His father, brother, and sister want to know why police and doctors didn't tell them Howard was tasered repeatedly by Middleburg Heights police before Howard died Monday night. When we pulled up the sheet, he had burn marks and bruising on his, ch his whole chest area. A tragic chain of events started when Howard Hammond's car hit another driver. The driver says Hammond stopped and asked her if she was okay. Minutes later, police showed up to arrest him, and trouble started. This is police dash cam video. Police say he was combative, resisting arrest. Officers tasered him. The police chief said four times. The family says five times. Then they need him in the chest. Minutes later, he was dead. Hammond's family got the call from Southwest General Hospital. Doctors told them he died in a car crash. They never said one time he was tased. They said he died on impact. I said, do you think he probably didn't have no pain? And he says, no, I don't think he had any pain. Hammond's brother now questions why Hammond was tasered multiple times. Where's the pepper spray? The police report says Hammond had a marijuana pipe in his pocket and they had to use force to control him and put the handcuffs on. Chief John Maddox says the officers did tell the hospital they used a taser, but he doesn't know why doctors didn't tell the family. Hammond's family found out when they saw the video on TV news. Trying to make funeral arrangements and we turn on the news. And I watched my brother get executed on TV. Now, Albert Mattis, vice president of Southwest Hospital, told me this afternoon, quote, doctors don't give exact causes of death in the ER and place a high respect on patient privacy and that it's up to the coroner to rule on a cause of death, end of quote. The Cuyahoga County Coroner said today it will take weeks for blood tests results to rule on an official cause of death in Hammond's case. In the newsroom tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.